guys so welcome to so raw episode three like we're already on the third episode i know some of you thought that i was gonna like end it after episode one no we are going until we can't go no longer so before we get into this i would like to say that this is me after barely sleeping for one hour like i am so tired in these next clips so i just wanted to warn you guys for the weirdness ahead Today I am wearing my Barbie shirt because I am a Barbie. No, I'm just kidding. I, I think Torrid's Barbie collection is always so cute and comfy. I personally like off-the-shoulder situation type deals. So I'm just like embracing it and loving it and just being a plus-size Barbie queen. I actually hate calling myself plus-size because I'm definitely not plus-size. I'm super morbidly obese, but you know, let's just cringe together. Yes, my hair is a little cuckoo bananas today, so we're just going to also embrace that. So, anyways, the first thing I want to talk about is kind of like a dehumanized update moment because last episode I did talk to you guys about how I feel dehumanized and I read some of y'all's comments. I read your guys' messages and a lot of you actually agree with me, especially in my private DMs. You guys made me feel so validated, so I completely appreciate that. And then there's a portion of people, especially in the comments, I noticed comments are brutal. It's like trendy to be mean to me. But in the comments, people were invalidating my feelings and how I felt. But I wanted to share a few more reasons why I feel like I am dehumanized on my channel. So this one for me is kind of hard. This also happened on Instagram. I'm not sure if it still is happening on Instagram, but this currently is happening on TikTok. So you search my name on TikTok and it says, No results found. This phrase may be associated with behavior or content that violates our guidelines. Okay, how? How? Like literally, I have a TikTok. You guys can see it right here, I have a TikTok. I am not off of TikTok, I've never done anything bad on TikTok. Um, I was making money on TikTok at one point, um, but then they stopped the creator fund. So it's nothing that I have done on TikTok to create this to happen. And also this happened with, with Instagram as well. And I did nothing. I still have a profile on Instagram. I've never been kicked off of Instagram. So it was nothing I did. So in my head, I was like, okay, is it because I'm just controversial, if you will? So I thought of one of the most unliked YouTubers or what people would like to consider someone who is extremely unliked, which I completely disagree. And I looked up Trisha Paytas on TikTok. She's viewable. She, there's tons of profiles with her name, there's hashtags, etc, etc. So I said, you know what, how about I try someone else? Shane Dawson. We all know the, all the scandals, everything that he's done, nope, he still pops up as well. So I was like, okay, well what's different about me? Like, what did I do? I literally am just a small YouTube channel. So I tried to think, okay, so what's the differences between me, Trish, and Shane besides the obvious? Oh, I have an eating disorder. So I said, you know what, I'm going to go on the other side of the spectrum, someone else on YouTube who has an eating disorder and people love to talk about it. Eugenia Cooney. Um, if I pronounce her name wrong, I do apologize. So I looked her up on um, TikTok. Well, there she is. There's a bunch of hashtags with her and a bunch of names with her. So why is there no results found for me? Think for three seconds what could be being posted. I have seen several bullying, fat shaming, etc. things on TikTok that have to do with me. I've seen it, people have sent it to me, and this is just another way where I feel dehumanized. Anytime someone reduces a human being to a single characteristic, especially a negative one, they're dehumanizing. So some examples of that is alcoholic, addict, diabetic, schizophrenic, all raw people of the full complexity of their lives and reduce them to a symptom or a disorder. This is literally how it feels. People call me fat, people call me liar. You guys have created this character, Liar Lynn, that doesn't even exist. You guys make me feel like my eating disorder is the only thing that I am, and me being super morbidly obese is the only thing that I am. Or, you know, my favorite, I'm a narcissist, according to a lot of people. So I noticed a lot of people didn't like that I used the word dehumanized, so I decided, here are some other words that I wanna show you that also mean around the same thing, to degrade, to diminish, to belittle, all of those things are happening. People are degrading me, how I look, how I talk, what I wear, things that have happened with me in the past, things that happen with me in the present, currently, it doesn't matter what it is. People diminish my accomplishments, 
but they make my failures super freaking huge. Like, it's, it's wild. I am belittled all the time. So people are asking, why are you talking about this now? Why are you talking about haters or hater nation? Why are you talking about the reaction channels? It's because I'm finally using my voice. For so long, I let rumors become false facts because I didn't say anything. I didn't stand up for myself. I have had reaction channel after reaction channel after reaction channel just make money, laugh themselves to the bank because of me. They react to my content constantly, spreading speculation and rumors and lies. And it's like, I finally want to use my voice now. And it doesn't matter if I didn't do it before. All that matters is that I'm doing it now because for so long I stayed silent and I just, I don't think that's fair and I don't think that's right. I feel like you need to stand up for yourself. You need to use your voice. I know a lot of people just want to say, oh, ignore it, ignore it. It's different. Yeah, sure. Let's ignore someone telling me my hair is ugly. That's different. The shit that I'm talking about goes so much deeper. So I feel like I can talk about this for literally forever, but we're not gonna do that. Um, I will continue this discussion on my channel. I will continue using my voice and sticking up for me because I know I deserve better. I thoroughly do not think that I have done anything as bad as what people make me seem like. Not a damn thing.